Today I'm working on this nice B23-7. I'm going to paint this for Penn Central for you guys. Now Penn Central didn't have any B23-7s, but they had um, U33Bs, which uh, look very similar, except for uh, the smoke stack, I guess. The exhaust stack. So this little guy, it didn't auction well because it didn't have the handrails. Fortunately, they were in the box. The other thing that's wrong with it is somebody shaved the steps off. And honestly, I don't know what that's about. But I was able to buy some. Was able to buy a new a new set of steps. So that's gonna look great. I'm gonna go ahead and paint this for you. I have my micro scale decals here ready to go. So that's gonna be a lot of fun. Uh, I didn't put spend too much time putting the handrails on because I have to remove them for painting anyways. So let's get to work on that. So the first part is removing the shell. And uh, under the shell everything looks good. Looks really good, maybe it needs a good cleaning. But this little guy should run just fine. So it has these weird uh, shaved off steps. But at least I have the coupler box, which is gonna help me. And I have the fr front coupler, which is also great. Thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna remove the bottom of the handrails. You have to squeeze the back, the back's easy. Uh, the front part looks like it's gonna be just as easy to remove. And I'm gonna remove the windows, very important, because if you paint with the windows in, your windows are gonna be black. So keep your stuff organized. That way, if you have a look at that, I found the correct trucks for um, U33B. So that would be great. So this little guy, I'm gonna take the uh, couplers off and I'm gonna throw that in the garbage. So bye bye and hello. So I could paint everything separately, but I prefer to paint it all together at once. Um, there's advantages to doing it either way. I find that by doing it all at once, um, if one area of the car, especially when I do the doll coat, isn't quite even, it, uh, it will all blend together much, much easier. So that's what I prefer to do, to just do it all at once like this. I don't know if you know this before, but the horn is missing. It should go here, that little hole there. The horn I do prefer to do it separately. So I'm going to wash this with uh, soap and water with my toothbrush. And then we'll be ready for painting. So my shell came back from the uh, the paint shop, very, very shiny. So it's dry to the touch, but it still has a little bit of uh, thinner in there, enough to allow for the decals to stick very well. So I'm ready to start putting up my decals. So micro scale decals or water slide decals, you just slide them on there very easy and once they're dry they look very good it's good to have a prototype picture nearby that way you can get the decal placement uh, just right so i'm going to finish doing that off camera Wow, the decals really make it pop. So if you're a beginner, if this is your first paint job, you could be done. This lo unit looks like a freshly shopped uh, unit. You could leave it like that, run it like that, it's fine. I prefer to give it uh, some dull coat. So I'm gonna be doing that right now. 
Well, now this project is coming along just fine. Look at that. Looks pretty sharp now. So now what I have to do is I have to put back all my windows and my handrails and my couplers and then it'll go back uh, right back on its drive. So it looks really good with the handrails back on and the windows back on. I also found a horn for it. So now we're almost done. Obviously, if you want to put the safety rails, you can do it before you put them on. I prefer not to. So this is going to go back on the drive. I took the time to clean the drive um, while I was waiting for my paint to dry. And now it's time to run some trains. I'm gonna give you a little extra tip there. You can see I have glue on my cover. So this should be actually a really good looking cover. What I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna take some car wax and I'm gonna clean it. So you won't be able to fix every issue with that, but it still helps quite a bit. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. I certainly had fun making it for you. See you soon.